Okay, so today I'm going to talk to you about, wait, no, I'm not quite ready. Okay, so today we're going to talk about how to connect this to that. Hold on a second, wait, no. Okay, so today we're going to talk about how to connect your phone to your Sony camera. Okay, yeah, that's much better. I think I'll leave that one. All right, so yeah, that's what we're going to talk about today is how to hook up your iPhone or Android phone to your Sony camera because it will make your life much easier. I've had the Sony camera for two years now, the Sony a6600. And just today I downloaded the app and created my account and hooked it to my phone. And it's so much easier. The thing is I record my videos and the camera's at around 22 millimeters. So it's kind of far away from me right now. And I mess up my lines all the time, especially the introduction. And so I'll end up jumping up, turning it off, thinking about it, looking at my notes, be like, okay, let's do this again. And so 20 times later, I'm like all sweaty trying to record a video and it's frustrating. And the great thing now, I can just look down and be like, yeah, I didn't really like that, let's start over. Then I can just keep going again and I'm not filling up my memory card because the videos are just too long because I don't want to get up and turn it off while I'm thinking about my lines. So all in all, I think this is gonna be really great. Obviously, if I didn't want you to know that I'm doing that, I would just move my phone here and this is still much easier to do than get up and turn to get to my camera to turn the recording on and off. And for a bunch of different shots, the great thing is I can adjust a lot of the settings even in the middle of a recording. So the F stop right now is set to 2.8, but what if I turn that up to F22? Well, I just disappeared. Now if I change the ISO to 32,000, okay, there we go. I have no idea. This is gonna be kind of grayish and grainy probably. But, you know, I can make these adjustments on the fly, far away from my camera. Oops, it's on auto ISO now. So go back to ISO 800, sorry, and then back to F2.8. Okay, we're back. You know, it's great to have this here. Um, you can make certain adjustments while you're in the middle of recording, like the color temperature. I can only make adjustments to while the video is not recording. But, you know, I'm going to use this for an upcoming video on how to take pictures of yourself. So I know everyone during COVID sees their friends, their family, everyone much less. And so if you wanna take pictures of yourself, who's gonna do it for you? It's a little bit more difficult. So I'm gonna take my tripod out and go find some cool places to take pictures. And I needed this app because it's much easier to see, hey, do I look okay or not when I'm far away, snap a picture, have it load on my phone and be like, yeah, that could work and continue to take pictures versus having to get close to the camera, you know, set up the auto timer, the self timer, whatever the heck that thing is called. I haven't used it actually on, on this camera. So that's what I wanted to experiment with. So that gave me the excuse to actually figure this app out. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna actually delete it off my phone and we'll start off from scratch, downloading the app, uh, create an account, or I'll just sign in, but you need to create an account and then connect this to your camera so that you can control it from here. This works the same if you're on an iPhone like I am or on an Android device. I did test this out earlier on my Google Pixel 3. It works with both, so let's get started. So let's see, this is the Imaging Edge Mobile is what it's called. Okay, so let's just get rid of this on my iPhone. The app is gone. Okay, okay, so to get started here, you need to go to the App Store. Let's just If you just search for Sony Camera App, there we go. And then you see the Imaging Edge mobile. So it knows that I've obviously recorded this previously. Let's download it one more time. Let's open this bad boy up. Okay, welcome to Imaging Edge mobile. I agree to the conditions in terms of use. Okay, photography is my main profession. Videography is my main profession. I do other stuff sometimes. How about videography is my sideline business more than 10% of income? Okay. And what do I like? Selfie, kind of. Sports, weddings, events, fashion, beauty. No macro shooting. Vlog, sure, vlog. New, start. Would like to use your Bluetooth? Okay. Wants to view access to photos? Okay. Notif I hate notifications? No. Uh, where I am right now while using the app. And then now it's time to connect the camera. Okay, so the process here is actually really, really easy. The first thing you need to do on your camera, and so in the network, section of your Sony camera, there's control with smartphone. 
and then you want to make sure that control with smartphone is on and then the next step is just to connect and then so here you say here is a QR code here is the SSID here if you click on connect with a new camera so here are the three options QR code NFC or SSID and password the easiest is obviously just going to be the QR code so let's just click here okay okay and then if we just do that and then join okay so now we have this should work wait for it wait for it okay there we go so here is yoda r2d2 and the um, fighter or whatever it's called okay so you can see that this shot right here is quite underexposed you see that flashing minus 2.0 here so what i could do is open up the aperture a little bit and then let's see if i need to adjust the iso something like that probably and then oh so you can see it's still underexposed okay so something like that so i think it depends a little bit which camera you have what functionality you're going to have in the app there might be autofocus or being able to pick focus points with different cameras, but with my Sony a6600, that's not something that I can do. The changes that I can make are obviously the aperture, the ISO, the shutter speed, the, the white balance while I'm not recording. So I can, I have all these options right here, but then once I click on record, okay. So what you can see now is, you know, the, I can't choose some of the stuff that was over here available but I can still adjust the f-stop. So I could go all the way up to 22 or back to 2.8. The ISO, obviously I could change as well. So for example, if in this shot, let's say I didn't, I wanted a less blurry background. So maybe I wanna expose for, can I get something with like f6, 6.3 as opposed to f2.8. Give it some more light, more light still. Keep going. So you can see here now that there's more there's more depth of field. It's not quite as blurry as it was just a second ago. So there's different changes like that that you can make just here on the app and not have to make on the actual camera. But for example, to change the focus, I'm not able to do that here. I'd have to click on, hey, I want R2D2 in focus or you know the fighter behind, let's say. Okay, so what'd you think of the app? Was it pretty easy to download, get connected to your computer? All right, so what'd you think? Were you able to hook up your Sony app to your camera? I hope so. I mean, I'm pretty happy with this. I've, I've only been using it for a couple of hours right before recording this video. And I think it's gonna save me a bunch of time. I'm not gonna fill up my memory card so quickly. It's easy to stop, pause, make adjustments on the fly. I think for the video I'm gonna be recording really soon about how to take pictures of yourself, it's also gonna come in really, really handy. I'll be sharing that with you as soon as it's ready. But I don't know, if you're looking to record better videos, we have a whole playlist to help you with that. I'll link to those videos right here. Hope to see you in those and future videos. Bye-bye. Boom.